Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mayuri Stock Channel and in this video we are going to see the AW2 hierarchy which is the your subtopic where you have the component, container, window, panel and frame. Right, so here we are going to cover these things which is nothing but the AW2 hierarchy. By looking at this you will come to understand that yes it is, this is the super class, then this is super class for this, these are the best class of this super class. So, so what exactly is the component, container, panel, frame, this all the things we are going to discuss and the first one at the hierarchy you see as i told awt is the collection of number of classes and methods so these are nothing but the classes of awt that is component content means these are all the classes which are the classes of awt which is nothing but abstract window toolkit now the first one in the hierarchy which is the top is the component so here for the syllabus, it's the component, but normally before the component, again there is an object. Object is a superclass for all these classes, but it's not for the syllabus. Suppose in MCQ it came, what is the top of the hierarchy? If there is the option of object, then it's the correct option or else component is the correct one option. Now what exactly this component, as we know, this is a class of AWT, which is a class of AWT which comes on the java.awt package, right? Now here the component is responsible whatever on the screen, on the GI you see the button text fill, for that it is a super class. That means here again it contains the button, then again the label and many more of the controls are the subclasses of the component class that means this component class is responsible for having these controls on the form right that means indirectly this whatever the button label text field or whatever the controls we are going to use indirectly it's the subclass that means for this the super class the parent class is a component class so now moving towards the next the container the container he, it's super classes component class that means this is a subclass of a component now what is this container as the name tells you it contains the another component now let me give you an example suppose here i have created a frame where here is a title bar and here are the menu bar so here it contains a button text for though this is a container that means it's a name test it's a class of awt and it contains the another control it is responsible for having the another con the another components or the controls now the next one at this hierarchy is a window and panel now here let's move towards the panel now panel contains panel itself is a container that means it's the subclass of panel is contained. Now what exactly is this of panel? Just listen carefully. Panel. Panel don't contain the border, title bar and menu bar. Just listen carefully. Panel don't have the menu bar, title bar and the border. Now whenever you have run as here you can see applet applet super class is panel so in java whenever you run the applet program on the browser there you don't see the title bar menu bar but when you run it on the applet viewer there you see the border and the title bar so here panel is a class which don't contains the title bar menu bar and the borders okay now moving towards the next here is a window which is the subclass or the superclass of this is a container. Parent class of window is a container, which window is nothing but it's the container. Container. Okay. Now this window, just this window for this class, we don't create directly object. Means here window is not used directly in the program. So for making this window, we make use of its subclasses frame or a dialog. Okay. The use for this window here window the object we can't create of this class just remember we can't create the object of window class so for this for making the window we make use of its subclasses that is the frame and using the frame object we create the frame 
or the window using the frame object. So now whatever uh, we have seen, we have, how we created the object in Java in the same way we create the object and we create the frame and on that frame we add the different control which comes under the component class. Right. Now moving towards the frame. What was here, it don't contain the title bar, menu bar. So opposite to this is a frame. Frame contains the title bar, menu bar and borders and using the frame we create a window. So this was totally a hierarchy. And again one more is a class which is not for a syllabus but keep in your mind. Again one is class is a canvas. Which is not a part of a hierarchy of AWT hierarchy but this canvas class is used for a blank where we draw something where we draw the elements for that purpose the canvas classes so this was the whole hierarchy so let me revise again at the top of the hierarchy is a component the which contains different controls which are nothing but the button text fill text area and whose subclass or parent sorry parent class or the super class of these controls is a component then below it is the container which contains the another component then again here is a panel and window which are the subclasses of of the container which is the super class here panel don't contain the title bar menu bar and the borders okay so what when we see in the applet or when we run on the browser so there is a panel where we don't see the borders and menu bar but using the applet viewer there you can see the title bar menu bar and the borders now here the window bar use uh, what is the use of this window window means we don't create a window directly here don't we create the object by using its subclasses we create a window that is frame or it can be a dialog so frame contains the menu bar title bar and using the frame object we add different controls so this was the overview of the awt hierarchy hope you understand this concept and if you have any type of question you can mention in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video thank you